Hey YouTubers, this is Guardian Mike coming at you and I'm with two great people here and uh, Mr. Jeff, you met him in the prior video and Jeff, who do you have here with you? I have my brother-in-law, mm -hmm. Anking Francisco Lim. Yeah. An King Francisco Lim? Yes, sir. Let me tell everybody about Mr. Lim before we ask you questions. I'm in Cebu. I'm looking for a Niawan dump site, and I want to go there and meet the people. Jeff, who took me there? My brother-in-law, An King. Do you remember me. that? Yes, you had sir. A you took me there, and uh, no one else would, and we found that a Niawan dump site. It was tragic, wasn't it? Yep. Yeah. Now, uh, we're here over your head. We've got the Ang Basaya group, and uh, you have it on your shirt. Let me show. Yeah, that's Ang Basaya, and uh, we're meeting here. But tell me a little bit about the Filipinos in Southeast Michigan. Tell me a little bit about your brother, and then uh, we'll ask him some questions. Philippine community in Southeast Michigan is probably about 40,000 people. It might be a little bit smaller, it might be a little bit larger. It's been here for probably about 75 years or longer. Uh, the University of Michigan and some of their researchers were involved in the late 1800s in studying the, uh, the forestry and the lands in the Philippines. So uh, there was a man named Dean Wooster and when the U.S. government went into the Philippines, they came and they uh, talked to this man to tell them about what the country looked like. And, and that was one of the first outreaches or inreaches that began the Southeast Michigan culture, Filipino culture, Asian culture, is that what you're saying? See, what we had was around 1910, uh, a lot of government professional people in the Philippines were brought to the University of Michigan and to, I believe it was, uh, uh, Syracuse University to study public administration. In fact, the law school at the University of the Philippines is copied in its physical layout uh, from the University of Michigan at uh, Ann Arbor. The quad there? Yes. I didn't, that, I've been through the law schools, classrooms, and I've seen on the wall we have major figures from Asia, including some of the major uh, military men from Japan, too. So there was a connection all throughout Southeast Asia, I take it. Well, I don't know the rest of the connections. I, I had been original Peace Corps in the Philippines, uh, 62 to 64, Mike, so I was interested in learning what's the uh, Michigan connection. And there was a, a real strong and consistent connection. Well, and then, uh, did you? I understand you ended up marrying a Filipino. I ended up marrying a Filipina. I met her when I was in the Peace Corps, but I didn't really think she would enjoy America because her family was very, very wealthy. And uh, here you do everything by yourself. You have no helpers. And meaning that in the Philippines things, they had helpers. Yeah, in, the yeah. in the Philippines, if you had money, life was easy. If right. you didn't have money, life was harder. And was there a connection to your Filipino family and your Filipino wife with the man to your right? Of course. He was the younger brother. Introduce and us to brother -in -law. you. Brother-in-law. You're his brother-in-law? Yes, sir. Tell us a little bit about, uh, is, is Mr. Jeff a good family man? Yep. They made, Are you sure? <laughs> they had a good marriage, huh? Yeah, yeah, they have a good time. Now you have, uh, in the Philippines, you have a pharmacy there? Yes, sir. And you were in America for a while, too? Yes, sir. I worked here for like 20 years. What can you say about America? Mm, it's really a, you know, land of milk and honey. And, but the culture in the Philippines, you can say some good things, too, there. What about that? Yeah, completely different. Culture okay. is different. Do you remember when we met, you took me to a place in Cebu, which had, uh, it was a large room, and it was like a buffet style. Do you remember the name of that restaurant? Yes, it's called uh, Royal Concourse. Lo Royal Concourse? Concourse. Concourse? Concourse. Yeah. Royal Concourse. I wanna, is it still there? Yeah, it's still there. It's and waiting you, for you. I want to take you there next time too. Okay. You're awesome to meet. It was very surprised. It was a big surprise to come here, see you here, when we spent some time, probably four 
years ago in Cebu. Yeah. And I want to thank you. Filipinos are known for their hospitality yeah. and shyness. Yeah. It's yeah. not easy for you to talk <laughs> like this. So we'll we'll cut this and we're gonna start a new one, but we want to thank you. You you did your family duty. Uh, thank you. Yeah, hospitality. We'll come back. Stay tuned. Jeff's got lots to talk about.